Today, we're going to bring a digital microscope. Now, these are pretty good if you're a teacher, you want to teach a class and get down into the actual micro stuff. This is a great way to start. So I actually donated one of these to one of the uh, teacher that's been using this and to get every student interacting with the system. So today we're going to take a look at this model here and we're going to open it up. But just to let you guys know, the vendor was kind of enough to send this out for review. So we're going to take a look at it and see what you get. So they give you the actual a micro USB 32 gigs off the bat. They give it to you right away. They give you the whole system itself with actually a remote control that you can remote into it and click on it and record and play the actual system that you need to do uh, to capture anything. You can do that to it through it. So we're going to take a look at look how beautiful this device is. It's all nice and fit in there. It's heavy duty. And then they give you extra lenses and then it has LED lights underneath. So let's put it together. That is pretty easy. You rotate this until you get it to a nice degree. Then once you get it down, you could tighten the bottom up, the bottom, if you see it, to actually fit it in there. Once you get it to a point that you have it open, the actual uh, two little screws in here, and then all you got to do is drop this in there and then fasten it. All right. Once you got it fastened, you don't have to move it. The screen is set up now. Just to let you know, this is the actual screen. This is actually where you put the actual memory card in here and also the connection too. So just to be aware that both connections, the key, the actual power and actually the actual control has to be connected to this unit itself. And that will automatically give you power for the system on the top. On the bottom, you're going to require additional power. So we're going to take a look at that. Right? So one entry goes in the key entrance here. And then this one actually cycles the power in the bottom. If you guys notice, there's a power here connection because it's going to give you power to the LED lights. Um, this, you don't have to do this if you don't want the lights to use the lights, but it's something that splits the power in here. So we're going to plug that in. They actually give you the CD too, if you're going to install some application, but today we don't need the CD. We're going to actually set it up in our system. So we're going to crank it up first time, turn it on when you turn it on here. So right when we turn it on, if you guys can see the lights, they're coming in. Now it's giving you an option. What do you want to do? Memory card, PC or charging mode right now? We're going to say. PC, hit OK, so all the buttons are here. Now we're going to set up the actual camera to log into our computer. So right now, if you guys notice, this is the actual demo it comes with there, right? Um, we're going to read some of the millimeters in centimeters in here, but let's flip it around so you guys can see the duplication. You guys can see it, how small you can see some of the details in here. My fingerprint, my fingers in there. Um, so right now you can actually see the reflection of the LED lights. We could actually read some of the micro stuff and then you could even focus even more. There's a little focus area here that you'll see it right there. That's where we want to be at. So we actually can see some of the stuff. Let's see some of the details on it. And then you can see thousands of little, and this is just a demo, right? It comes with a little, uh, see through demo. So you guys to see how microscope you can see the stuff. And, and if you guys notice, look at the, look at how small I'm going to just put it here. And so you guys can see it on the actual window, right? And then I'm going to put it right here back where it was. So right now we're going to go ahead and test it out. Look how tiny and you can see the actual really microscopic of cubes that it has in there. All right, we're going to bring a motherboard in here. We're going to go into details in here. So here you can actually go into details and see if there's some issue with the actual motherboard. And right now I did, I did solder some stuff. So I'm going to show you guys where I solder. All right, so I did solder some stuff in here. If you guys notice, it was a horrible job, but I was just setting up. This is my soldering area right there. That's where I actually touch it. Look at my nail. You guys, you see it where I actually solder. So I was able to solder a couple of things. It was a motherboard feature that I needed to do. And I wanted to steal some of power from this system to another one. And I was able to use this device for that. And like I said, it's out of focus right now, but you could actually focus in a little bit more and you can even get even closer in and this is just the motherboard that we're actually doing a demo so i hope you guys enjoy the video